guys, today we're going to talk about how to generate Java class from an XML scheme using JAXB XJC economy. So first, for this video, I'm going to use uh, Eclipse IDE. We're going to create a project in Java perspective. Uh, we're going to create a regular Java project. So Java project. I'm gonna call it Marshall and on Marshall. Second thing, we're gonna use the XML perspective. Then we're gonna create a new XSD file here. We're gonna call it animals. So basically this is an irregular XML file. Here we have a target namespace here. Be sure that when you are changing this URL, be sure to change this URL also because then your XML file is not going to validate. So if you're going to change here, we also have to change here. So we're going to change it from, for this example, my name. And here. So this XML file scheme is going to be it's going to be animal. So we're gonna go for the specific thing we can think of, which is a, a gender. Like animal can be female or a male. So we're gonna start with a simple type. So simple type tag. Call it gender. Then uh, we're gonna have a restriction because it's enumeration. It's, it's gonna only be a male or a female based on a string. So restriction, restriction. The base is a string, so equals to string. We're gonna have two enumerations here. Which is male or female, enumeration male and enumeration female. So this is how you do the simple type. Now we're gonna go to the less simple type. It's a more generic than a simple type. It's a complex type. So we're gonna start with the complex type tag. We're gonna call it like a dog. We're gonna have a sequence here because we want to define fields. We're gonna have three elements, uh, like a like a name, which is string. Type of string. Also, we're gonna have age and running speed. Which is int or double. Let's go with uh, the XML. So I'm gonna have also a cat complex type just with a cat name. Then what we want to do is. Uh, Create a bunch of cats or dogs, so it's gonna be animals. So we're gonna start with element tag. So the element tag you can define here more complex, more generic than complex type. So it's like a 
it can be animals so let's go with animals animals I'm gonna have a complex type here and then we have a sequence in this sequence we're gonna have two elements one is cat and one is dog so let's go start with the cat so name is cat and top is DNS target namespace cat DNS cat the main occurs it has to be in this element zero cat can be and the max occurs like a it's bound that you define in the XML file so we gotta uh, say to it unbounded because we don't know how much it's going to be by the way this uh, we're gonna have we forgot to mention about the cat and dog it has also a generic gender so how we're gonna do that by selecting an attribute tag we're gonna name it gender and the type is just mixed up with the JavaScript TNS gender exactly the same thing in the dog complex type so you're gonna you're gonna have the exact same thing in the dog so have here dog CTNS dog good so this is our XML file I'm gonna file save it and then we have to check if our Java path is located in our uh, our JDK in our Java home uh, system variables. So how are we going to do that? By going to sy settings, system, about, system info. I'm going to go to advanced system settings. Go to environment variables and check if the Java home has your JDK last updated Java version. So we're going to click on OK. Then we what we want to do is I'll save this and then we're gonna to go to command prompt line command. What we're gonna do is first we're gonna uh, type the the uh, uh, XJC. And to unbound it to bind this XML file to Java classes. So this common uh, line will be down below the video. So minus D directory, which you want to the uh, classes to be generated on. So we're gonna copy this. Go, go to computer D and Copy this here. Then we're gonna define our package. So minus package animals. Uh, our package name is gonna be animals. Back. 
catch. And our directory is going to be the XSD. So we're going to just drag the file to the command line. Simple as that. Then we're going to enter. And voila. You have all the classes cat, animals, dog, gender, and some two classes about the info. So I'm going to check this out. See here we have animals package. We have dog animals. You're going to see this. Drag this to the clips. Then I'm going to have an animals class, cat class, dog class, gender class, and some info classes. So in the animals, we have a list of cats, list of dogs. We have a cat, which is which has running speed, age, string name, all this stuff generated by one XML file. So thank you guys for watching. See you soon.